Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're rearranging equations into y equals mx plus b form. So if we look at the first example here, uh, we do not have y equals mx plus b form. y equals mx plus b form means we've got a number time, or y by itself over here, and then we've got a number times x plus another number. So we want to get this form. What we want at the end of this is going to be y equals and then everything needs to be on the other side of the equation. So what we need to do with this equation is we need to get everything else to the other side of the equation. We can get rid of this uh, uh, negative 4x first by adding 4x to both sides of the equation. Okay, so we're going to add 4x to both sides of the equation. And we get 2y equals 8 plus 4x. Okay. And now we've got 2y, we want just y, so let's get rid of that by doing 2 divided by 2 will give you 1y. We Divide both sides by 2, and then we're going to have, uh, over here we're going to have 4 plus 2x. We have to divide both terms by 2. And uh, one last step, I guess you could rearrange this to 2x plus 4. Okay, and you can see that the slope is going to be 2 at 2, and the y-intercept is going to be 4 in that equation. Um, next equation, same thing. We want to get the x term to the other side and the constant to the other side, or we could just move the negative 2y to the other side as well. So let's, let's do that, actually. That's probably the easiest thing to do. So we'll take the negative 2y and bring it over there by adding 2y to both sides. And we get 4x plus 12 equals 2y. And then we've got to get rid of this 2, so we divide both sides by 2. And we get 2x plus 6 equals y. So the slope is going to be 2, and the y-intercept is 6 in this case. Next example, we've got 5x plus 3y, so we need to get rid of this 5x. Let's subtract 5x from both sides. We get 3y equals 9 minus 5x. And we need to get rid of the 3 by dividing by 3. And we get y equals, this is going to be 3. And here we're going to get a fraction. So it's going to be minus 5 thirds x. And you can rearrange that as well as negative 5 thirds x plus 3. So your slope is negative 5 thirds, your y-intercept is 3. Next example, um, next example very similarly we can subtract 7x from both sides. We get negative 4y equals negative 5 minus 7x and then we need to divide by not 4, but negative 4. Okay, so we do that. And we're going to get y equals, this is negative four, 5 divided by negative 4 is positive 5 fourths. Negative 7 divided by negative 4 is positive 7 fourths x. And then you can rearrange y equals 7 fourths x plus five quarters. Okay. Um, and there you have the y intercept the y intercept is five quarters and your slope is seven out of four. Okay, next example, actually I'm gonna skip the next example and go straight to the last example. Um, so if you look at this one, this is negative two thirds y plus two x equals six so the main problem there is, or the main difficulty here, is that we have a fraction. Um, actually, let's handle that a little bit later. Let's just subtract the 2x from both sides first. Okay, so we're going to have negative 2 thirds y equals negative 2x plus 6. And now to handle this fraction, that's going to be a bit tricky, but we can always get rid of fractions in any equation by one simple step. 
this denominator here is 3. So if we multiply everything on both sides of the equation by 3, you'll get the fraction to cancel. So we multiply by 3 on that side, we've got to multiply the other side by 3. And we get negative 2y equals negative 6x plus 18. Okay, no more fractions. Then we can divide both sides by negative 2. And we get y equals, now negative 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3. Positive 18 divided by negative 2 is negative 9. So you've got a slope of 3, a y-intercept of negative 9.